What's up guys, Justin here with the CGEssentials.com back with another Blender modifier tutorial for you today. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to use the skin modifier in order to create base meshes for sculpting and other things like that. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So this is an interesting modifier. It does some kind of interesting things that I could totally see being useful for some applications and completely not useful for others. So um, I do recommend that you go uh, first check out, check out the documentation in the Blender manual. Talks a little bit more about how this modifier works and then give it a try. So what we're gonna do to start off is basically this modifier uses vertices and edges to create a surface. So let's say for example, and I have the extra shapes add-on enabled. So I'm just gonna select the option to add a single vertex. Uh, we'll make sure we're in vertex select mode. And then I'm just gonna extrude that vertex up a couple times on the Z axis. And then I'm gonna tab back into object mode right here. So now what we're gonna do, so we're gonna go down to the modifiers. We're gonna add a skin modifier. So it's gonna be down here, we're gonna click on skin. And so if you look at this, it doesn't look very remarkable, right? So all it's really done is it's come in here and it's just added some quad geometry around that edge. And so let's turn on wireframe mode because it's gonna help us see what's going on in here. So basically what this is doing is this is coming in here and it's adding geometry and maybe we wanna go into wireframe mode as well, um, but it's adding geometry around that vertex. So let's say that we were to go back into edit mode. I'm gonna extrude this out a few more times. And now let's go back into object mode. And so you can see how what this does is this is basically just generating this geometry around this vertex. So it's really giving you quad geometry around a vertex. And it does do some interesting things like kind of pinching around these corners, other things like that, um, that are gonna vary based on what we're trying to do in here. But in general, that's what this is going to do. And so that gets a little bit more interesting if we tab back into object mode and let's go right here into wireframe mode and let's extrude this off in a couple different directions. So let's extrude something along the x-axis over here. Um, let's select this vertex and extrude something along the x-axis over here. And then maybe we'll extrude something off of the y or up, up the z-axis over here. And so now if we look at this, what this does is this basically adds triangles where necessary um, at these intersections, but it still gives you this kind of quad shape. And so a lot of the time, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this and you're gonna bring this in and create the quad geometry, and then you're gonna add a subdivision surface modifier after the fact. Because what that does is that gives you more um, that, that gives you more of a smooth surface. But notice how if you move these different parts and pieces around, um, the skin that's being created is gonna move around with them. And um, sometimes you can get some kind of odd results at uh, these intersections of the geometry where the vertices kind of split off. Um, but it gives you some kind of interesting base meshes to play around with. And so there's a few different things that you can do to adjust this as well. So let's turn off our subdivision surface modifier. So first off, you can smooth the branches using the branch smoothing option. What that's gonna do is that's gonna try to smooth out the geometry um, at these areas where um, it kind of shoots off on the different branches right here. So it's gonna relax the settings in here, basically like shrinking those down um, so that they're not taking up as much space and just trying to smooth everything out. So the symmetry function is really just going to affect the topology that's created. So it basically tries to, um, tr it tries to avoid making unsymmetrical quads in here. And sometimes it does that by creating triangles. You can see how by toggling this X value right here, I'm getting different topology in here. Um, I don't know how much you're gonna use that. I think a lot of this one is kind of playing around with it and seeing the results that you get, but that is an option that's in here. So smooth shading is pretty much exactly the same as right clicking on something and clicking shade smooth. All right, so one really important thing that you need to know how to eat know how to do when you're using this modifier is how to control the size and the scale of the vertices. So for example, let's go in here and let's go back into wireframe mode for a second. And I'm gonna tab into edit mode just so you can see that I'm selecting this one vertex right here. And so right now you've got this one vertex and this is generating a box around the vertex, right? Well, what you can do is you can select a vertex and do a control A 
and move your mouse in order to adjust the size of the object that's created on the vertex. And so what that's gonna do is that's gonna give you a lot more control of the object that's created. So if we go back into this mode right here, do a control A with that vertex selected, notice what that's doing is that's adjusting the size of the skin that's created around that vertex. And so that can be really important. So let's say for example that we had this cube with the skin modifier. So if I tab into edit mode, and do an A to select all the vertices and then do a control A, you can control the size of the skin that's created in here um, by doing that control A with all those vertices selected. Well then, notice how you get this really interesting effect. So you can use this to create, you can use this to create different like pipes along paths and other things like that as well. So for example, let's say that we were to duplicate this vertex right here and then extrude it. And so I can do a control A. To adjust the size. Right here. And so what that does is that gives me a lot of control over the mesh that's created. All right, so now let's take a look at a practical example of where we might use this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back into object mode. I'm just going to do a shift A and I'm going to add an extra or a single vertex. We'll just move it over here. So then inside of edit mode, let's extrude this up, across, down, just like this. So what we've got in here is a number of different vertices, right? Well now, let's add a skin modifier to it, like this. Well notice what that's doing is that's basically creating kind of a very high level person shape. And then you could come in here and you could kind of adjust this just by doing a control A with the different vertices that's in here. It's like this. So notice how this is creating kind of a general skin. Then let's go ahead and add a subdivision surface modifier to it as well. But one of the things that you might do is you might select this object and I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of branch smoothing in here. But what you might do is you might use the option for create an armature. And so when you click on the button for create an armature, what that's gonna do is that's gonna create an armature in here that you can use for rigging. So now I've got an armature in here that's linked to my mesh. So if I was to go into pose mode, for example, and I can actually adjust this, and the skin's gonna move along with it. So you can come in here and you can actually rig this as well and the mesh is and the mesh is going to follow along so what we could do for example is we could keyframe locations of this mesh like this so we could use this in order to keyframe and animate different movements as well so this will automatically do the armature setup for you inside of blender so this gives you a lot of like fast high level options for working with different meshes and creating different meshes really quickly inside of your models so that's where i'm going to end this video kind of an odd modifier but it's kind of a fun one too so take it and play around with it and let me know what you can create if you like this video please remember to click that like button down below if you're new around here remember to click that subscribe button for new blender content every week if you like what i'm doing in this channel please consider supporting me on patreon every little bit helps so make sure to check out that link in the notes down below but in any case thank you so much for taking the time to watch this i really appreciate it and i will catch you in the next video thanks guys